All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you find your shutter count, whether you have a Nikon Z50 right here, or you have a Nikon D5200, but it literally doesn't matter any camera, you need to figure out what are my shutter actuations, AKA what is my shutter count. And if you stick to the end, you'll know exactly how, why, and you can do it yourself just at home. Stay tuned. So the whole purpose of having a shutter count is think of this guy as your car engine. Every time the shutter takes a photo, it snaps and it takes a photo. And the more photos that you take, the more likely you are to have things like wear and tear, especially on these older DSLR models. So essentially what that is, is every time you take a photo, so what that essentially is, is every time you take a photo and you hear that sound, that is your photo taking its shutter, right? And every time it does that, it counts as a shutter actuation. So the more times that your camera does that, the chances are that your photo or camera is gonna start to wear and tear. And this doesn't matter so much about for, let's say if you wanna do videos, but let's say if you have 300,000 shutter count or shutter actuations on your camera body, you're most likely not to have all your photos to be in focus. And that just comes with the time and age, especially with older DSLR models. So if you buy a used camera or you wanna sell a camera, people always ask, what is your shutter actuation? So I'm gonna show you exactly how you find that out. First, what you gotta do is turn your camera and you wanna take a photo. Next is you're gonna upload that photo onto this website, which I'm gonna show you right now. So there isn't a specific website that I refer to. All you need to do is you just Google camera shutter upload, right? And the first result that comes up is camerashuttercount.com. And as you can see here on the website, list all the type of tested models. And all you need to do is you click in your folder, find exactly where you took that photo, drag that into uh, your choose file, press upload, give it some time because it's taking all that information on that raw photo and it's being uploaded onto this website's server. Then as you can see, it will see that this is the share account and this is your, your camera that you're actually using. The most important thing is you wanna make sure it is your most latest camera photo that you've taken on this camera. It can't be an old photo, it has to be the newest one. And you can see on my Nikon Z50, I have had 2,720 photos taken on my Z50. And it's really that simple, guys. And now you guys know exactly how you find your camera shutter count, your shutter actuation, and you can potentially sell your own camera or put it on you know, third-party websites if you ever wanna sell. And someone's like, hey, what's your shutter count? Or what's the life expectancy of your camera? Now you know exactly how. My name is Peter, you're watching Broke Vision Collective. If you wanna get serious about video editing, content creation, even if you have a Nikon camera, link the description to check out all my theory camera guide, check that out, as well as my master class on how you become a complete beginner to an expert when it comes to any DSLR mirrorless camera, any camera, you can use that, grab that master class. You're watching Broke Vision Collective where we also have nothing but you can always create something. Cheers, guys. So in this exclusive Broke Visionary course, I'm gonna tell you all about how you get your first paying client as a video editor or videographer, or how do you get your first video job in this day and generation where if you wanna be a content creator, a video editor, a videographer, and you have no idea where to start, I'm gonna show you everything in this course. I'm gonna show you step by step on how you get your first client.